Silver! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver! The Lone Ranger! With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeat to the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Young Silver, let's go, big fellow. Young Silver, away! Thunder Martin was after wild horses. The big ex-mule Skinner and a companion called Shorty were aided in the hunt by the Lone Ranger's friends, Dan Reed and Tonto. They had built a rope corral at the foot of a hill, then separated to drive the unbroken animals into the V-shaped opening. Dan Reed, Tonto, Shorty, and Thunder Martin himself rode hard, shouting at the top of their voices, cutting back and forth to keep the horses in a close pack. They reached the corral and reined up sharply. Hey, yeah, Thunder. Ah, well, we got him, Daniel. We got a lot of those critters. Look at him in there. Knocking about like a blind dog in a meat shop. Hey, yeah, that will hold him. Golly, Thunder, that's the first horse hunt I've ever been on. Oh, you've done all right, Daniel. Me and Shorty sure appreciate what you and Tonto have done to help us. Hey, come over here, Shorty. Well, Thunder, it sure looks like we got us some horses. Who's going to break all those horses to the saddle, Thunder? Well, uh, that, that's Shorty's job. You going to break them all, Shorty? Reckon I'll have to, Daniel. Thunder here so gosh awful big that when he breaks a horse, the poor critter gets so downright discouraged... Yeah. He don't have pride enough left to lift his heels. <laughs> Say, uh, how do you like my pound, Daniel? He sure can ride. Yeah. When nature built him, she threw it off on the job for looks. But alongside of Shorty, gold is just plain dirt. <laughs> hey, uh, what's Tonto doing over yonder? He seems to be looking at something. Well, I'll yell at him and fight. No, him. hold on, Thunder. That yell of yours is, is enough to drive a wolf to suicide. Oh, I'll, I'll tone her down. Oh, yeah, Tonto! Come over here with the rest of us. Uh, he comes. Maybe he's seen our masked friend coming, Daniel. Didn't you leave word that we'd be up here? Yes. Uh, what did you see, Tonto? Is the Lone Ranger coming? Two fellas come this way. Two? Uh, steady, Scott. Steady. Hey, is one up the Lone Ranger? No. Fellas seem to come from Ranch and Valley. That'd be the Taggart Ranch. Yeah, I, I've heard of Taggart. We see plenty of tiger cattle on range. Yeah, that was the teeth brand stock we saw. Well, they come. Maybe they won't like us hunting horses. Well, it's open range. They can like it or leave it. Oh, 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 oh. oh what's going on here? Ah, 
I, I, I better repeat that question, mister. I don't think I heard you right. I said, what's going on here? Yeah, that's what I thought you said. But it didn't seem possible that a critter with an eye on each side of his nose could look at that corral and ask such an all-fired stupid question. If you think you're going to take those horses, you better think again. This here is open range, and we aim to take what we corralled as soon as we got them broke. Now wash off your war paint. This is Taggart Range. It ain't nothing of the sort. It's open range. Yeah, well, we'll now, hold on, Red. Redhead, you're asking to have your horns clipped. Now, just a minute. I'm Rance Taggart. Well, you better tell your partner to get over his frothy spell. Mr. Taggart, these wow. critters are just making believe to hunt horses. They're really looking over the next lot of cattle to disappear. Redhead, the last time a man talked that way about me, I nudged his talk box, and he lost a few bridle teeth. Yeah? You talk big when you outnumber it. Now, shut up, Red. I'll do the talking. You Ford better clear out. Lost a lot of cattle in the last month. My men have been instructed to drive out all strangers. Tigered, any time you feel like hunting yourself up replacements for your cow hands, you just send the boys up here to try and drive us out. I'm not going to argue with you. If you're not gone by tomorrow, you'll be chased. And I won't be responsible if all four of you get hurt. Say, Shorty, how long do you figure it'll take to break these here horses we corral? Horse thunder? I don't know. Yeah, you can't do it by noon tomorrow, can you? Couldn't even break one by that time. Well, Tiger, you heard what Shorty said, so I reckon we'll be here sometime after noon tomorrow. What I said still goes. Red, I'm giving you orders right now. These men are here tomorrow afternoon. Run them off the range. I sure will, boy. Yeah, come around, Red. And be sure you come ready for trouble. Because you're sure going to get it. We'll be ready. Come on, Red. Get up. Get up. You know, Thunder, I bet I could nip the ears of them two without knocking off their hats. Now, and I'll leave that gun where it is, Shorty. You and Ricardo, Do you suppose they'll come around tomorrow noon? Yeah, they'll be here all right. You and Tonto better clear out before they come. You know, that, that lone ranger would never forgive me if I got you tangled up in a gunfight. But what if Red brings nine or ten men with him? Daniel, I've handled 18 mules. But they'll probably come shooting. They'll know they've been in a fight before they get us. You can't possibly stand them all off. No, maybe not. On the other hand, we got our rights. And, and this is open range. And I'm hanged if I'll let Taggart bluff me off. He... He wasn't bluffing, was he, Tonto? No, him not bluff. Oh, he knows he's cold decking me in, Shorty, but... By darn, we got our legal rights. And if we got to cash in our chips to back them up, uh, we'll do it. But can't you get a lawman? Oh, the nearest law is 50 miles away. Besides, I got more confidence in the law I carry on my gun belt. Well, we got till tomorrow to talk things over. Right now, I'm hungry. Let's eat. You know, that's a good idea, Shorty. Go get the chuck wagon. And maybe by the time we're done eating, the Lone Ranger will be here. And I'll lay ten to one, he'll have a few ideas for dealing with Taggart. That night, soon after darkness had gathered... The foreman rode from the Taggart Ranch on a pretense of going to town, but Red Gilpin went nowhere near the town that night. Instead, he headed through a ravine, then turned into a branching canyon that widened to form a sizable expanse of pasture hemmed in by sheer walls. A number of head of cattle moved contentedly in the moonlight, while Red talked to a group of hard-faced men who huddled close to a small campfire. I just got the idea this afternoon, boys. We could do big things. Yeah, we're doing all right, Red. As long as you stay on as foreman of the Taggart Ranch so you can let us know when to make off with a few head of cattle, we'll do all right. Oh, that's tin horn stuff, Lefty. Besides, old Taggart's beginning to miss the cattle. Can't you convince him that the critters just stray off and disappear? Not for very long. Uh, your scheme sounds risky to me. You're wrong, Butch. There's no risk at all. He already suspects those horse hunters are being cattle thieves, and he's ordered them out of this part of the country. You think they'll leave? Not on your life. They know it's open range, and they know they're within their rights. They'll fight to a showdown. Won't be easy to pin the murder of Taggart on them. Why won't it? The law's 50 miles away, and the sheriff will have to take my word for what happens. You think he'll take your word if he knows that you inherit the Taggart range? Leave that to me, Lefty. 
He won't know it right away. We let a couple of weeks go by before we find the tag had left a will, leaving the Bar T Ranch to me. Do you think that will will be questioned? Why should it be? Taggett's got no one else to leave the outfit to, and I've been his foreman for a long time. Who's got a better right to it? I still think it sounds like an awful lot of risk. We've got to do it, Lefty. We'll never get rich sneaking a few head of beef into this box canyon and running new brands over the old. It takes too long. And besides, we've got to split the profits too many ways. I want all of the bots here. Sure a prize worth going after. Yeah, you bet it is, Butch. I'm for it, Lefty. Now, you leave all the arrangements to me, Lefty. I'll work it out. Hey, Red, you don't aim to take over my gang, do you? What? <laughs> Why, of course not, Lefty. Sometimes a man gets a little too ambitious for his own good. See that that don't happen to you, Red. <laughs> oh, now, Lefty... Now, just remember... If we help you inherit the bar tea, you'll be owner and name and nothing else. All I want is the same cut I'm getting now. I wanted to be sure of that. I, uh, Lefty, shut I... up a minute. Let me listen. What's the trouble, Lefty? You thought I heard something. Of course you did. There's 50 head of cattle moving about in this pocket. Yeah, maybe that was it. Now, what do you say, Lefty? How about my scheme? I'll decide after I hear the details... Let's start talking, Red. Let's hear more about it. Red and the cattle thieves talked for some time. Long before they finished their discussion, a shadowy figure crept away from the campfire and made his way to the narrow opening. He stepped over the fence that kept the cattle confined and then proceeded down the canyon on foot until he reached a powerful white stallion that stood waiting at ground hitch. Stay there, sir. It was the masked mystery rider known as the Lone Ranger. You big fella. One silver. He guided the great horse Silver through the canyon in the valley near the Taggart Ranch House. Then he turned abruptly and rode uphill toward a second campfire. A few moments later, he reined up in Thunder Martin's camp. Thunder, his pal Shorty, Dan Reed, and Tonto listened carefully while the masked man told what he had overheard. They're planning to blame you for the murder. And the, you know, the minute I looked at that ordinary redhead, I knew he was no good. I, I've been just sitting here and looking forward to the time when he comes here tomorrow afternoon to try and chase me. I have him marked for special personal attention. Tomorrow afternoon will be too late, Thunder. They've got to take action tonight. Are, are you sure them critters you seen had been stolen from Taggart? Yes. I examined the brand on a few of them. It had originally been a tea brand, but a running iron had changed it to a box eye. Oh, them poor cats. Lefty and his gang keep the cattle penned up in that basin until the new brand heals. Oh, what we do, Kimasabi? Let's go get Taggart and show him what you found. That's what I plan to do, Thunder. I'll uh, take Tonto with me. The rest of you stay here. Oh, no. You mean we got to stay here out of action when there's a chance for a fight with that no-account redhead foreman? Yes. There are only five men in Lefty's gang. Taggart had eight or nine cow hands. That'll be more than enough to take care of them. Oh, no. I want you and Shorty and Dan to wait here for a number of reasons. Come on, Tonto. Uh, scout over this way. Good. We'll see you later. Why you leave others there? The first place, Toto. I don't want to take Dan into a gunfight. Oh, me savvy. In the second place, when Thunder Martin goes into a fight, he goes all the way. If there's any shooting to be done, I want Taggart's own men to do it. How do you there, Silver? Easy. We, we go now? Yes, Toto. Easy, big fella. One silver. Get him up, scout. Taggart, I want to see you. Mask. We'll step in if you don't. Now, hold on. If you think... Take it easy, Taggart. Toto and I are here to help you. (laughs) 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had ridden to the Taggart ranch house. Taggart was surprised when he opened the door and protested as the masked man and Tonto stepped in. Now hold on, if you think Take I... it easy, Taggart. Tonto and I are here to help you. That Indian. I remember you. Ah, me with horse hunter. Close the door, Tonto. Red ah. said you were cattle thieves. We're not cattle thieves, but we know where you can find some. What's that? You can also get back some stolen cattle. Hey, what kind of a trick is this? It's no trick, Taggart. I was on my way through the canyon. There was a narrow break in the canyon wall, and it had a fence run across it. I heard cattle behind that fence, and I... You talking about the wide cut in the south wall? About four miles from here. That's the one. You say there were cattle in there. Cattle wearing a box eye brand, recently made with a running iron. There's no box eye around here. I didn't think so. That's my cattle. I thought it might be. Your foreman was in that basin with it. Red? That's what the cattle thieves called him. Cattle thieves? Five, counting Red. What kind of a game are you playing? I'm not playing any game, Taggart. I came here so my friends, the horse hunters, wouldn't be blamed for your murder. My murder? Yes. Red's not satisfied with his share of what can be stolen from you. He and the others are planning to come here and kill you. Well, now, just a minute. I'll show you why I know you're mistaken. Got proof right here. You can't possibly have proof. Oh, you're right, but I have got this gun. Taggart, freeze. I'm going to hold you until Red gets back from town. We'll see what he has to say about this. I seem to have been careless, huh, Taggart? <laughs> no, you weren't careless. I was just a little bit too smart for you. They say that every crook makes a mistake once in his life, and that's the mistake that sends him to the hangman. Yes. That's quite true. You made your mistake when you thought I was going to produce proof that my foreman's not working with rustlers. You couldn't produce that proof, Taggart. I trust Red Gilpin. It's going to take a lot of proof to convince you that he's not to be trusted. It certainly is. Now turn around and face that wall, both of you. Put your hands behind your backs. Taggart, I don't like to have guns pointed at me. Oh, you don't, eh? Well... No! no! You did shoot. <laughs> My hand. It hurts like blazes to have your gun shot away. How in thunder did Sorry you... I had to do it, but I couldn't prove my point while you had the drop on me. All right, you've got the drop on me now. What are you going to do about it? I'm going to try to persuade you to call out your men and let me lead them to your stolen cattle. My men are all... We'll have to move fast. How many men have you here? None. You. You got no cow hands? You don't run this outfit without help. Red sent some of them into town. The rest are out guarding cattle. Akima Sabi. Yes. Me hear horses. So do I. Them come this way fast. Keep an eye on Taggart. Uh huh. Taggart, you wouldn't believe me. Maybe you'll believe your eyes. Look out there. Horseman. Can you see the man in the lead? Oh, it's my foreman. It's red. You say there are only five men? That's what I thought. Five, my eye. There's four times that many. That man next to red is called Lefty. And they're fired. Get inside. Why, it was red who fired at me. I saw him. So did I. Why are they firing on me? What do they want? I tried to tell you, Taggart. They want to kill you. There's four times as many as I expected. Well, you let me get my rifle. I'll show them. Go ahead. Put some fire on them. Uh, time to do it. Now, let me at them. Oh, 
That alone in there, boys. Steady. Spread out. There's rocks around here. Get behind them. Red, you come with me. You yeah. too, Joe. I'm right with you, Lefty. Keep up that gunfire. Moose, you and Steve go to the side of the house. Right, boss. Come on, Red, get behind this rock. I want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, Lefty. Now, what's the idea? What idea? You told us Taggart would be in that house alone. Yeah, well, I thought he would be. Like fun you did. He's got at least two others in there with him. You said you sent most of the men into town, and the others out on the range. I did. If you let us into some sort of a trap... No, no, honest, I didn't. Who's in there with Taggart? I, I don't know. You sure the cow hands went into town? Yeah. Yeah, I told them they could go to town, and I saw them set 11 on their way. They're all in town except two or three that are out in the range. Taggart would be mighty grateful to the man that uncovered my gang. If I thought that you sold no, me... No, no, Lefty. Sir, so help me, I did. Give up that gunfire. What are we going to do, Lefty? Just shoot it out until some lucky shots get them inside the house? We'll shoot it out until some of us can get close enough to set fire to the place. Hey, look. Someone's running from the house. And get that man. He's heading for that horse. Well, don't talk about it. Shoot him. He's hit the saddle. There he goes. Look at him travel. Shoot, confounder. Drop him. He's heading for town. Ah, he got away. He made it. He's out of range. I'm heading for town like Grease Lightning. He gets to town and gets back here with a T-brand cowboy. He can't make it there and back inside of two hours. You sure of that, Red? Yes, I ought to know. He's traveling awful fast. He still can't make it in two hours. And if we can't get rid of Taggart in two hours, we don't deserve the win. Keep up the gunfire, boys, and sneak your way in closer. If we don't get Taggart by bullets, we'll get him by fire. The Lone Ranger started in the direction of town. When he was out of sight and out of gun range, he reined up abruptly. He turned to the east, then once more his ringing cry sent the mighty stallion Silver racing ahead at top speed. The Lone Ranger knew that Taggart would be dead long before he could return from town with help. He had another plan, a plan that called for expert horsemanship and daring, and the help of Thunder Martin, Shorty, and Dan Reed. Tando, we can't hold out for long. Mm, but we make Crook know it's plenty dangerous to come close to the house. But they're getting closer, closing in all the time. There goes one now, run for the shelter of the water trough. You get him? Yeah, dead red it. I gotta stop to reload. There's another, two, three of them run for the barn. Bring your gun here, Tando. Shoot him, drop him. Tando, come in on this side. Too. Did you get him? Uh, me not know. Maybe hit him in the leg. Him stumble and get the shelter around. Well, there's three of them right over there in back of the barn now. If they get any closer, it'll be hand to hand. You know your way around this barn, Red. Get the coal oil. Yeah, that's right here, Lefty. But I don't see what you want. I'll show you what we'll do. Joe, grab hold of this butt board and push her part way out of the barn. But what's the idea, Lefty? You'll see. I'll give a push. All right. Yeah, that'll do it. You got that coal oil red? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Spill it all over the butt board. There's a downgrade from here to the house. We'll set her a fire and start her rolling. Great idea, Lefty. That'll do it. Hey, something's going on outside. Lefty, did you hear that? Someone's coming. Let's go take a look. Read that oil for a minute, Red. Right. Lefty, look up behind it, coming down the hill. But all I can see is a cloud of dust. Well, look again. Horses, there must be 40, 50 of them. There they are, boys. There's two men out in front of the others. So it was a trap after all. No, no, Lefty. Don't lie to me, you double-crossing. No, I'm not lying, Lefty. It must be a posse from the sheriff's office. This whole thing was a trap. We can't fight that bunch. Hold down your guns and surrender and we'll wipe you out. I'll deal with you, Red. I'll get you if it's the last thing I do. No, no, Lefty. Turn on them guns. Let go of you two. Shoot. Got them down. No, no, I give up. I surrender. Yeah. Don't shoot. Yeah, don't shoot. We surrender. Take it down. Ah. 
Thunder Martin and his pal Shorty closed in with a gun in each hand and a pack of charging horses coming fast behind them. Taggart and Tonto came from the house. We'll help you. I will cover them. Anyone who wants to die fast, just reach for a gun. Then, to their amazement, the rustlers learned there were no men on the backs of these horses. But the realization came too late. They had already thrown down their guns and raised their hands. They stood wide-eyed as wild horses raced on past the house and barn. Keep out of the way, them horses! They're wild horses. How'd you get them to follow behind you like they was carrying a sheriff's posse? Why, you handle a galoot. They was being chased by them, too. They're sitting on the white horses over yonder. That bass man and his young partner... Well, Tiger, go get some ropes so we can hog tie these critters. And don't overlook that one I wing to keep from shooting your foreman. My ex foreman. Now, Mr. Taggart, listen to me. You shut up, Red. But let me explain. There's nothing you can explain. You've shown your colors. This red headed, double twisted worm was aiming to get you, Taggart. Yes, I know. No, no, shut I Shut up, you poor cat. I'm talking. You figured that after Taggart was dead, you could make out a fake will so the law would think you inherited the T Brand Ranch. Red? Huh? I'm going to see you spend the rest of your life in jail if it's the last thing I do. While you're there, here's something you can think about. I have a will. Made it out some time ago when I thought you were a deserving kind of a man. Under that will, you would have inherited everything I own. Uh, you mean that, Taggart? That's the truth. But I'm tearing up that will pronto. How does that make you feel, Polecat? Uh, I never suspected such a thing. No, Thunder... As for you... Hey, hey, you know my name. Yes, the masked man told me about you before he left here. Sorry I suspected you of being the cattle thief. Oh, that's all right. I've been accused of lots of things in my day. Well, sir, you came here to get wild horses. Yeah. But now it looks like we'll have to corral them all over again. I'll have my men help you get all the wild horses you can handle. But... Doggone, you hear that, Shorty? Of course, I sure do, Thunder. <laughs> it looks like both of us are going to have plenty of bronc busting to do. Uh, say, Taggart, you was going to get some rope to hog tie these varmints. Yes, but uh, just one thing more. Yeah? That uh, mask man over there, he told me about you. <laughs> he could tell a plenty if he was a mind to. Well, tell me about him. Who is he? Taggart, that there hombre is the Lone Ranger. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. Thank you.